The next method that we are going to talk about is the Cartesian method. In this method, the software will try to fit a structured hexahedral mesh cells inside your geometry in two or three directions based on your geometry by repeating a pattern of these hexahedral mesh cells. After selecting the Cartesian method, if I click on the Generate button, you will see that a structured mesh will be created inside your geometry. As was expected, you can see that a structured mesh is created inside my geometry. However, there are some regions where you can easily see that low quality mesh cells are generated. For example, in the connection region between the cylinder and the bigger box or the smaller box and the bigger box. You can easily see that in the connection region, especially between the cylinder and the bigger box, some cells couldn't maintain their rectangular shape and have deformed. Now if I click on the local setting and then on the low left side of the software window under the advanced section, click in front of the projection factor, you can see I am able to enter a value between 0 and 1. If I enter a value of 0, uh, the software will try to fit high quality structured mesh inside my geometry. However, this comes with losing the real shape of my geometry. Now that I have clicked on the generate button, you can easily see that the interior mesh has a very good quality. However, if I rotate my geometry, you can see that the real shape of the cylinder especially hasn't been captured. However, if I enter the value of 1 in front of the projection factor, you will see that the real shape of my geometry would be captured and will be meshed. However, some meshes will have low quality in the areas where we have curvature, especially for the cylinder. Now here in front of the projection factor, we enter the value of 1 so that we can have a real geometry shape meshed. Another thing that should be mentioned are the stretch factors in different directions. For example, if you change the values and factors of X, Y, and Z direction from one to another value, you can easily control how the mesh cells are stretched in one or any direction. For example, if I change the value of a stretch factor in X uh, to a higher value, you can see that the newly generated mesh cells will be stretched in this direction. As was mentioned, if you compare this newly generated mesh with the previous ones, you can easily see that the mesh cells are stretched in the X direction. Also pay attention to the mesh cells that are placed in the connection region between cylinder and the bigger box. And if you can remember, we had defined the projection factor equal to 1, meaning that we wanted to capture the real shape of our geometry. However, you can easily see that the quality of the mesh cells in this region have decreased dramatically. Another point that should be mentioned here is the element size and that you can define the element size of the Cartesian method mesh you want to create inside your geometry. For example, here we are going to enter a value of 4 cm.
Now if you compare the newly generated mesh with the previous ones, you can understand easily that the size of each element has decreased uh, because we have defined element size under the body fitted cartesian method local sizing equal to 4 centimeter.